I don't buy new cars. I don't buy brand names. I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money. I like to find bargains. It's the life I chose. I throw nothing away. I'll find a use another day for all this junk I keep. My neighbors all hate me. They abuse and berate me cause I like doing it cheap. Yeah, I like doing it cheap. Welcome to another episode of Doing It Cheap. Well, how y'all doing? It's Paw Paw again. And, uh, I got a little gadget I wanted to do a little review for you. And, uh, this is one of those things, if you're, if you got a few years on you or a little arthritis going on, <laughs> maybe some sore joints and stuff, uh, sometimes pulling on these little old starter ropes can get to you or if you got a bad back or whatever well lo and behold these little two cycle engine companies realized that a bunch of their pull starters was a piece of crap well they found that uh, a lot of people weren't buying their product because it was hard to start you know because they're so sensitive I mean the least little bit of trash gets in them little made in China carburetors and they ain't it, it, it just won't work well, I had put a new carburetor on this one for a lady, and they ran it without the cutter guard and allowed the string to get long. And when that happens, what, what happens is your engine bogs down. A little two-stick cycle needs to get up there and sing. So I got the cutter from her, the guard from her, got it back on there. But because it just bogged down so much, we're all clogged up. There was all all coming out of the muffler where, you know, uh, the fuel didn't burn cleanly and all that. So I got to that point, then I tried to start up and hell I couldn't get started. I pulled and pulled and pulled. So I saw here where it says electric start. And they make a little, looks like a 90 degree drill that hooks on there and you just put the button and it spins. Well, they also make a bit to fit into your electric drill. Now, what I, what really ticks me off is you have to buy their tool unless you're a dead gum blacksmith because the end of it's hard to see, but the end of it is a pentagon. It's five-sided. It's not six-sided like a regular hex bit. So, you gotta buy their dead gum crap. They couldn't just care enough about the customer to make one that, that uh, to make the socket in there, just take a regular hex head. No, 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 no. They wouldn't make more money that way. Well, this is just an inexpensive drill motor from uh, Harbor Freight. Cheapest one they got, actually. Now, there's no way I'd have been able to do that pulling by hand. So, it's a neat little tool, neat little gadget. If you have any two cycle engines that have the electric start feature on it, let me zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. If you have this feature on your two cycle engine, you might want to spend the $10 it costs to get one of these things. I did it because I work on them all the time. 
So I don't know what else to say about it, except obviously it works. So I'm gonna hopefully be able to get a bunch more of these little two cycles going instead of wearing my daggum shoulders and back and neck and everything else out. <laughs> I think I flooded it. <laughs> Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye everybody.